In the global and national efforts to avert preventable newborn deaths, scaling up the high-impact intervention is at the center. Despite the availability of services for mothers and their newborns during pregnancy, childbirth, and the postnatal periods, there was low maternal, newborn, and child service uptake. In response, with the collaboration of the Ministry of Health, the Maternal and Child Survival Program, Newborn Project, designed and implemented a comprehensive social behavior change and demand creation strategy for Maternal, Newborn and Child Health, MNCH, and Community-Based Newborn Care, CBNC. We work very closely with the Federal Ministry of Health, the Regional Health Bureaus, Zonal Health Bureaus at Warada level, and then the Primary Health Care Unit, the Health Centers and the Health Post, with the Health Workers and Health Extension Workers. In addition to that, because we also have a very, I mean, ambitious and strong uh, uh, demand side activities, we have the Kabale Command Post as a critical partner. Strengthening the community involvement, we have members from the Department of Education, Health, Agriculture, Religious Leaders, Traditional Birth Attendants, and Widows. In regards to mother and newborn care, we first identify the problems within the community. Once we are aware of our problems, we then organize to figure out possible solutions. We work closely with the health workers to work together in raising awareness. Then we develop an action plan for implementation. After implementation, we evaluate what else needs to be done. People believe that signs of very severe disease are a curse, so we join hands with the command post as well as the various stakeholders, including traditional associations, to address the misconceptions. I'm a representative of women and a traditional birth attendant. I used to deliver at home. After losing a child, we agreed with the health professionals to begin bringing women to the health post for delivery. And I take pregnant mothers to the health center for checkups and make sure women deliver there. Religious and traditional leaders are necessary in the efforts to improve health-seeking behaviors. We selected religious leaders from mosques, Orthodox and Protestant churches, as well as elders to organize a forum. This forum has aided the religious leaders and their followers to discuss issues in regards to maternal and newborn care. After training, we understood the weight of these issues and decided to form committees that focuses on several agendas. The Orthodox faith has 50 churches. The Protestant has Qalahiwat, Makana Yesus, and 70 other churches and there is one mosque. Since all religions have representation in each Kabbalah, we have taken joint actions this year. With the support of local health facilities and health extension workers, every month a 30 to 40 minute orientation is given in all churches and mosques. We have to keep encouraging people and mothers that in their first months of pregnancy, they need to go to the health center. And when labor starts, they should go to the health center for delivery immediately. It's incorrect to think it should take three days to deliver. Therefore, we have to spread the word at our churches and traditional associations. The project also targets women as the leading individuals in sparking demand for organizing pregnant women conferences and women's groups. I'm happy that she has joined the Kabale Command Post to help raise awareness so people will utilize the services. We lost our child and we don't want them to face a similar fate. Six hundred and ninety five health centers capacitated on demand creation strategy. 1,466 Kabale command posts strengthened to implementing demand creation strategy. 500 religious and 3,620 political leaders orientated on maternal newborn child health. Over 7,000 health extension workers trained on community-based newborn care and supported by post-training follow-ups, supervision, and review meetings. 
3,499 health posts initiated community-based newborn care. 3,259 of the health extension workers trained on both service and demand. Various communication materials and guidelines developed. 4,958 sick newborns treated. With the strengthening of the Kabale command post and community capacity, Kabale's generally demonstrated improved implementation of community-based newborn care and data use, and resulting services utilization compared to other Kabale's. Improvement in coordination of maternal, newborn, and child health in all sectors and Kabale members divided responsibilities as their own with health extension workers' capacity expanded to reach more women and newborns. Most maternal and child survival program implementation waradas have one to two model kabbalahs with successful implementation of empowerment strategy. 81 waradas organized experience sharing visits to these kabbalahs where the waradas, primary healthcare units, and other kabbalahs learned from the models and developed action plans to implement the approach more broadly.